I gotta say, MP, I feel like I've been hit by a truck. After everything I've done to get you here and make you feel at home. How is it exactly that you want out this early in your career? It's business, Mr. Lesser. This is nothing personal. Nothing personal? Okay, that makes me feel better. Okay, look, I'm still willing to work with you. How's that? I'm just gonna keep things quiet. Still giving my all on court. I'm not looking to bring any problems to you. There's really no change in your mind here? It's just not gonna work, Mr. Lesser. Okay. Your representation will let you know when a resolution has been reached. In the meantime, keep this out of the press. You have my word. Yo, yo! So I just got off the phone with your agents, and they want me to set up an interview with Candace Green. It's your turn to set the narrative. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I'm kind of nervous. Well, as you should be. You're about to go on national television and complain about your boss. Now, I don't want you thinking that you're doing the wrong thing, because you're not. I mean, you got the right to work for whoever you want to work Look, for. Look, I hear you, Rig, but that's a lot of eyes on me, bro. Yeah, that's why you make a lot of money. Facts. Facts. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Candace Green, she is respectful. This ain't gonna be no Frank Valentine situation. Well, yet. Yeah. I mean, all you're doing is applying a little pressure. Respectfully. Mm, you make that sound so easy. Respectfully. Well, I'm sorry, are we in the easy business? Because I could have sworn it was the NBA superstar slash music and fashion mogul business, but I don't know. All right, all right, I got you. We got you, all right? Look, just do your little manifestation, visualization thing, and just picture yourself killing it. You right. You right, I got this. Yeah, it's cool. I got this. Bet. So I'm going to call Candace, set up the meeting. I'll put it on your schedule. Appreciate you, bro. Anytime. 